The New Reality, a look at the future of mobile technology with your host, John Romero. Hi, I'm John Romero, and welcome to episode two of the ARM New Reality series. Today, we're focusing on the future of immersive experiences on mobile devices. We're here with Nick Fight from Rec Room. Hey, Nick, can you tell us a little about Rec Room? Sure. Rec Room is an online universe where you can play and create games with your friends. It's made up of millions of different rooms where each room is a new experience. So there's shooter rooms, sports rooms, escape rooms, clubhouses, basically anything you can think of, somebody's built it in Rec Room and they built it with tools that we give them in Rec Room. It's very accessible. And when they publish a room, their friends can join them and check it out on pretty much any device. Rec Room is available on everything from mobile devices like phones to iPads, game consoles, PCs, all the way up to VR headsets. And what were the uh, considerations you made for the designs of this software in relation to mobile devices? What was special about the mobile implementation that, that utilized the advantages of mobile technology? What really got us excited about mobile devices is just the number of these devices out here. Uh, almost everyone has one of these devices you know, that they can, they can carry around in their pocket. And then with things like Quest, you know, you're seeing something like VR that's becoming very accessible, something you can put in a backpack. We were just excited to access that very, very large um, market. It was just so many more people that we could invite into the Rec Room community. Uh, but the real things that we needed to work on when moving to that platform was you know, there was sort of an interaction component. How do you interact in these large immersive worlds when you're using like a touch screen or you know a slightly different interaction paradigm? Uh, how do you handle a very different net networking model where you're no longer on a wired ethernet cable? You might be on Wi-Fi or, or LTE. Uh, and then lastly, I mean, there's a very different power profiles on these devices. So there's been a lot of performance work that we need to do to make sure that content that was authored by people on these very high end PCs, you know, we can make that work on these, uh, you know, more mobile centric devices. So can I check this out? Can you show me Rec Room so I can uh, yeah. kind of experience it myself? We can, we can continue this conversation in Rec Room. I'll, I'll see you in there. Looks like we're at a mega mansion somebody built yeah one of, the people. one of our players built chase built this uh yeah so we get to hang out by the beach we got a pool it's just nice to come into rec room and escape the real world for a bit and i guess this this is pretty big so he built like rooms and staircases and all kinds of stuff huh yeah everything you see here was built inside of rec room all the chairs the floor the pool this mansion behind us that ocean in the distance, those pool noodles and floaties over there. Everything here Martinis. was built in Rec Room. So I see that there are some virtual cameras in front of us that are recording this session, which is incredible that we can do that. Yeah, yeah, we're doing a, a virtual on-set, you know, recording, which is really nice. In an area where everyone's socially distanced and we're locked down, we can actually hang out in person in Rec Room, and, and that's really fun. Yeah, all right. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so we can go up to the balcony. Press the balcony button and we'll go up there. So you're okay. gonna actually have to intersect your hand with the button. Got it. Nice. Here, let's, let's nice hang out by this fire. Uh, yeah, this is pretty great. You have the ability to even float around. You don't have to just stand on the ground walking around. You can actually float and be in like creative mode. I mean, that's the beauty of being in a, in a digital reality is like, there are no rules. You can do pretty much whatever you want. Do you think that this is a gaming platform or do you think it's something else, some other kind of platform? I think we originally built it as a gaming platform and we've seen the community really just take it far beyond that. They've built so many things that we never even envisioned when we when we were first setting things up. Um, and, and I think really at the core of what Rec Room is, is it's, it's all about the community. It's all about people making 
and reinforcing really strong social connections. We've even seen people meet inside of Rec Room um, and then decide to get you know, married outside of Rec Room. Um, we've, we've even had some actual digital weddings inside of the Rec Room platform, um, which I think just goes to show like how serious the uh, social connections people make in this space are. Yeah, definitely. It's like a, it's another life. It's a totally another, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's head somewhere else. Here, John, cl- close your um, close your fist and then give me a little fist bump. This is how you party up. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Come on up uh, the staircase. Oh, I love it. <laughs> do you want to do you want to try drawing on you? Oh, that's right. Yeah, you can just pick these things up. Yeah. Okay. How about this? Oh God. It's the on-off thing. <laughs> on. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, w- would you like some pizza? We can actually have some oh. pizza. Whoa, really? Yeah. Look at the menu. I've got... Here you go. Oh, wow. I'll look at that. <laughs> Grab a slice, man. Cool. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Is there right. any way we can tell with these other people in, in here? Can we tell what devices that they're on? Is there any difference in the implementation that can kind of give away what they're using? You can sometimes tell by the way people are moving, what kind of device they're on. But we really strive for a very radically cross-platform approach where we let any device interact with any other device. Because we think at the end of the day, it's not really devices connecting with each other. It's, it's people connecting with each other. And... And we just want to help people connect with other people. So if you're on a phone, we may let you connect with a VR device just so you can, you know, have that social connection. We think that's the really important part. Music performances like nightclubs and, you know, DJing for a a large group of people. We've seen teachers teaching their students inside of Rec Room. We teach a number of classes ourselves uh, just about how to use the tools. and, And those are all happening in real time. So there's a real teacher there who will show you how to use Um, are tools like the Maker Pen or Circuits. And I think Circuits in particular is a lot of people's first, you know, interaction with something that looks like a, you know, sort of programming interface. So we're really proud that Rec Room is, you know, it's a very accessible, but it's a very powerful tool set. And we think that we're taking a whole generation of, you know, new young creators and and introducing them to STEM concepts with what we have in Rec Room. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I can just imagine programmers trying to do a code review together. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, we have a fun little project that we want to show you now um, related to what we think are your interests. We know you're into first-person shooters. Uh, we want to take you to a really cool room that we think you'll get a kick out of. Yeah, I can't wait. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's go. All right. John, we wanted to invite you to this room. We told some of our community members you were coming by, and they made a whole bunch of costumes, which we think you'll uh, you'll recognize. Oh, yeah, these costumes are great. These are the Doom characters. <laughs> these costumes, you can actually equip them. Um, so if you walk up to the one, you'll see, like, the equip oh, button. Oh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. This is one of my favorite guys here. I have to equip my cash. What? There you go. Oh, you look great. <laughs> we thought you'd get a kick out of it. And we wanted to show you what first-person shooters look like in the VR space. So we took you to this room, which is paintball. Um, and we can play a little round of, of paintball as a group. Uh, right. we, think, we think you'll like it. There we go. Ooh. Nice. Oh, there you are. Check out our next episode where we peel back layers of reality at the cutting edge of mobile technology.